this is sad. But not only is this sad, this is just dumb. Let's talk about it. You can live pretty well by yourself. What's good, ladies and gentlemen? My name is CJ, a.k.a. The High Value Nurse, checking in once again. I have a good one for you today. Now, a staffer, not only a staffer, a medical biller at a nursing home in Dover, New Hampshire, was arrested for stealing checks. Now, this is kind of common. Unfortunately, it's kind of common. I've probably covered stories like this before. But not only was she stealing checks, she was stealing her family members' checks. <laughs> it's not funny. It's really not funny because she's another person who fumbled the bag. But let's get into it. An East Rochester woman has been charged with fraud after allegedly stealing Social Security checks from a relative who was a resident of Riverside Rest Home. Prosecutors allege Jennifer Bryant, who's 47 years old, used her job as a nursing home's billing coordinator to fraudulently bring her elderly relative's bills to zero and then spent the money on herself. Ladies and gentlemen, you cannot make this up. You cannot make, you just simply cannot make this up. This lady spent her time making her family members medical bills zero so she can spend it on herself. <sighs> Brian is charged with one class A felony charge of theft by unauthorized taking or transfer. The charges stem from an investigation that began when she was an employee of Riverside Rest Home operated by Stanford County in Dover. Brian, who was released on <clears throat> personal bail is charged with taking $74,504 from her relative, said Brian Towson. Brian, who was released on personal bail, is charged with taking $74,504 from her relative, said Brian Townsend, a prosecutor for the New Hampshire Attorney General's Office. Townsend said that the charge alleges Brian misappropriated Social Security checks from May 2019 to May 2022. Boys and girls. So this woman has been doing this for quite a while. She has some experience in this. She knows what she's doing. <sighs> Why would you take a chance like that? Do these people... See, and it's the arrogance in the whole thing for me. Do these people honestly think that they won't get caught? I mean, come on. And it's sad because it is a common thing. You can't even trust your own family members to have you back in a nursing home setting. I mean, it's bad enough that they got to deal with short staff, people who don't care, and all kind of stuff. But to have somebody who's working in the office that you are related to steal over $75,000 from you, well, seventy-four over $74,000 from you, and spend it on yourself, on herself. Got to be a kick in the head. But they say family will do you worse than on the street. <laughs> and, and again, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not laughing at what happened to the man. I'm just laughing because this is crazy. Another person who was yet again fumbled the bag and risked their freedom for nothing. Let's get more into it. This is a quote from the Attorney General's office. We became aware of this about a year ago. We brought it to the attention of the county attorney who turned it over to the Attorney General's office. According to court documents detailing the allegations filed at Stafford County Superior Court, Bryant's elderly relatives moved into Riverside Rest Home in 2018 and is listed as having dementia. Her rent at Riverside was paid partially through her Social Security checks with Medicaid covering the difference. Bryant, who had worked as, a, as the resident uh, home account director since 2005, was responsible for those payments. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Lord. So, this woman has been at this job almost 20 years. I'm sure this is not the person, the first person she's done this to. I can almost guarantee that. But let's see what she spent some of the money on, if you will. 
let's check this out. According to allegations in the affidavit filed in Stratford County Superior Court, the money was used as follows. Retail purchases, $16,262 on retail purchases. You know, the ladies love the shop. $11,000 in the salons, $10,000 on cash withdrawals, $9,000 in the restaurant. Restaurants, where was she going? She was probably going to Ruth Chris because you can run up a check up in Ruth Chris. Shoot, me and my girl went there on Saturday and Sunday once. <laughs> Easily spent over $500 um, in total. So I'm sure she can run up a bill. Over $7,000 in alcohol. Yeah, yeah. Uh, $6,000, over $6,200 actually to her husband. <laughs> $4,900 in groceries. Over $3,700 in vacations. You got to get those vacations in, right? $2,313 on a vehicle. Over $1,500 in home improvements. And over $1,000 in entertainment. Really? That's what they count. Again, sad situation, ladies and gentlemen, that you can't even trust your blood. Can't trust your blood. Can't trust your family members. Can't trust, just can't trust nobody. This resident has dementia. They don't have any idea what's going on. They expect these people to be more aware and be able to protect them and their assets. And it just really goes to show you the lack of investigating that goes on. This woman's been here since 2005 and she was still in money for almost four years. So... Nobody checked the books. I mean, I know she's the medical biller and in charge of the whole situation, but I just, just nobody cared to look, huh? Investigate further. I don't know. I don't know. But not only that, though, she also has a history of driving while intoxicated. She's been charged twice. She was previously fired from a different job um, for driving intoxicated. May 4th, uh, 2022. Uh, let's see. She was also dismissed in May 2022 for coming to work intoxicated. This is why long-term care gets such a bad rap. Because if this is public document, if this is publicly documented, and we can find this out, where are the HR people? Where are the, like, are these places just that desperate for staff that they are willing to take people who come to work intoxicated? Come to work intoxicated. Come to work intoxicated. This field is almost starting to become a laughing stock because of stuff like this. This is getting crazy. The game is getting crazy. <laughs> It's getting crazy. I mean, clearly this woman has issues. She needs help. She definitely should be prosecuted. You steal $75,000 from me. I want you arrested, put under the jail. You feel me? So <sighs> it says Brian is scheduled to be arraigned in Stratford County Superior Court on March 2nd at 1230. If she is found guilty, she faces a penalty up to seven and a half to 15 years in prison. Four thousand dollars in fines. I don't know. I hate a thief. I can't stand a thief. I don't think that's long enough. I'm gonna be honest. You steal from me. I want you in jail for life, so you don't steal nothing else from me again, or anybody else. So, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, my name is CJ, aka the High Value Nurse. Hopefully, you enjoyed this video. Until next time, I bid you adieu. Peace.